as a health economist, um, uh, my presentation was uh, on the cost of uh, radiotherapy. Um, with the increase of healthcare expenses, um, uh, there are many different sources uh, behind it that are driving it. However, there is one that is overlooked at, and this is the way uh, the costs are measured in healthcare. I investigated that issue by conducting a systematic literature review on costing of radiotherapy, and out of 1,327 articles found, only 50 were matching uh, methodological criteria on uh, assessing the cost of external beam radiotherapy, the actual cost. Um, this uh, study then uh, shows uh, the lack uh, of reporting in methodology and uh, heterogeneity in the f different type of costing methods. And this is very interesting because uh, it is our responsibility uh, to take part in the decision making process, therefore uh, to produce uh, quality information to uh, our decision makers on the cost of radiotherapy uh, to ensure radiotherapy futures. Well, the key finding is that there is a large opportunity to conduct cost uh, studies in radiotherapy and this is of major importance as, as there is only few that actually do so by using um, uh, methodology that are established, cost accounting methodology. This has a large impact because uh, on the one hand, uh, while biomedical research is impacting the way we deliver treatment to a patient, um, such health service research uh, focusing on the planning and uh, on the radiotherapy as a whole sector will improve uh, the, well, the, dis the decision making that will be taken in reimbursement for example and this will enable a professional to take part in uh, negotiation um, in cost negotiation at country level. This will have a large impact because uh, it's developed in the HERO project which is a, a major project um, on costing that uh, will aim to uh, develop a cost effectiveness in two years of time. Uh, it is a European project. Well, uh, the systematic literature review uh, was not concerning Europe. It was a systematic, so it was worldwide. Um, however, the HERO project uh, focuses on Europe, yes.